An example, mascara. It shows the mascara on the la going on the lashes, and it's five seconds, but that's kept her engaged. She's totally hooked in because already you are inducing an emotional response from her. She sees that and she thinks, ooh, red carpet, big, full lashes, open eyes. I'm going to look younger and more beautiful. So you've done all that in one five second, 4,000 video. But anyway, um, it's worth it when you start to look at where you're going to invest, and that's down the road, but it's part of the assets to look at. I want to then just move right into content strategy because what I really want to do is kind of open it up to Q&A so I'm not monopolizing because I could talk all day long about this. I'm very passionate about it. As you move into the second piece, and normally this would be four hours if we were to work together, um, you talk about content strategy. So this is where I talk about bridging the gap between science and fantasy. Beauty is all about science-based facts. Guess what? Boring, boring, snooze, snooze, she doesn't care. Even though we think that's so important and you might have taken 20 years of research and have international patents or whatever, she doesn't care. Guess what else doesn't sell? The benefit of that fact, or excuse me, feature benefit, feature benefit, feature benefit. 95% though of what you want to be talking about on TV or online in your live de demos are the benefits but identifying what I call the emotional core benefit. The emotional core benefit will close the deal for her because now you've awakened her senses, her fears, her concerns, her hope. What does she want? She wants to feel significant. She wants to feel confident. She wants to feel empowered. She wants to feel beautiful. She wants to feel relevant. She wants to feel important. So that emotional core benefit is what you want to identify, and I'm going to teach you how right now, with every single one of your products. Once you can really nail what that means, you've got something wherever you go. Talking about even your hook, talking about your new product, talking about your new concept, what does that really mean? So we've just empowered her by making her feel more confident. She does it herself for 27 bucks. Who cares? All of that for 27 bucks, it's a no-brainer, right? So if you can get to the emotional core benefit of every single one of your products, that's it. And honestly, that has to be conveyed in like 30 seconds or less. Because what happens is that you see these spokespeople go on and they start discussing all the features and the benefits. It doesn't close it. Get to the emotional. So you can't underestimate that she's multitasking, she's comparing, she's using other online reviews. She's also, by the way, doesn't want to buy. She doesn't want to spend the money. The biggest thing that I could tell you is if you think you've got her hooked because you've got some fabulous new company or a brand that you can rest your laurels on or whatever else you think makes you the expert, speak to what would stop her from picking up the phone or picking up her iPad to make the order right now.